Hey guys, how's it going? In the next video, we're gonna talk about interfaces. But before we move on, I wanted to show you something more about pointer receivers and structs with regards to exported and non-exported fields. So follow me to the screen and we'll take a look. All right, so I wanna show you three things. Number one is that in JavaScript, you can concatenate strings and integers, no issue. In Go, you can't. So what you have to do is you have to import a string conversion package, or string conf, and then you have to say integer to ASCII, and then you pass it the value Okay, so now this works, let's run it. You see that it's printed out fine. And what we're doing here is we're declaring a variable P of a pointer to a person, then we create a person literal and we grab the address because that's what pointers hold. Now let's say we didn't do this. Uh, now this is obviously gonna panic. When you call p.speak, p is nil, this is a kind of null pointer exception. One thing I haven't told you is that you can actually guard for this in the method because p is a pointer here. You can check and say if p equals nil, return, um, and, nil. and if we try to run this again, you'll see that instead of panicking, it'll return this default string. So this is something you can't do in JavaScript or in Java. If you try to access a variable that is undefined or null, you'll get an exception. You can guard for that in a method in Go. So a little weird, I'm, I wasn't used to it. It took me a while, but. So the second thing I wanna show you is that now you're seeing that all my fields in my person struct start with lowercase letter. Now, the fields of a struct work just like uh, variables and functions when we're talking about exporting or not exporting uh, something. So so if you remember when we talked about packages, if you wanted to export a function, it had to start with an uppercase letter. And then that function could be used from a, from a different package. The same happens here. If I export this type, which I am because it's the capital P, people won't be able to access any of the fields, only the speak method because it begins with a capital S. So if I want them to be able to access the name and the age, I have to make them uppercase. And then you have to access them with the uppercase letter, of course, uh, which is a little weird if you're coming from JavaScript because you're used to camel case. In Go, that's not possible unless you wanna keep them private, right? If you want nobody to access the age, for instance, then yeah, you have to make this a lowercase like we had it before. So that's all I have for you guys today. And I'll show you in the next video about interfaces.